Welcome to City Skylines After Dark and the City of Freshwater. Now, in the last part, the focus was on solar power and the cargo hub over here. And off camera, I've built this second junction here, laid out this area here. Take the crossroad out there. Don't need that. To, so I can start pushing the residential commercial out in this direction. Now I do have a, a little bit of a problem down here with not enough raw materials and I think that is the result of me reducing the shipping budget. So I think I need to jack some of these budgets up a little bit. I don't want to push them up too far. Maybe I'll increase the metro system as well. So I've done that. I've, the other thing I've also done is I kind of did a bit of revamping of the metro system. I've moved, put a spur in there, but put a second link in there. Joined this line round to the top of there just to keep the flow. The other, the other thing I noticed was that I hadn't actually connected all the metro stations up, so it, it pays to review that from time to time. Um, I've got to stop saying normal. Checking the traffic, I've got kind of a lot of hotspots growing up now. If you look at this area here, this seems to be a pulse caused by these deliveries going out they seem to do come in pulses but they do seem to clear up the other area here problem area is in here so I need to start thinking about sorting my industrial area out which will be the focus of this part at the same time I've got keep my commercial growing in this area and then it's probably the quickest way to do it but I don't want to push it too hard same time as you can see my growth is slowing up again so the city's Probably, hopefully, as you can see, if we get more goods coming in. There. Now, as I say, I've built this area here. Because the idea is, is yeah, an area I want to develop is up here as all town. But I don't want to develop it as a, a kind of separate town. I want to develop it as a, as a kind of a industrial area. And you can see I've got... A little bit or it's not going to last that long unless I actually expand the city out that way so so what we're gonna do is just let the city roll over gently um, while I kind of start to make a laying out an area here uh, um, my inclination is to use tr railway so probably going to build a, you guessed it, uh, probably, I mean one of the difficulties is, is going to be the, the terrain in the sense that because it's not flat placing things is going to be a little bit difficult so I'm just going to, as I say, I, I don't want to make this into a a massive industrial area. I just want enough to just do that. Let's have a look. High school performance. Let's see if we can get a bit of education going as well while I'm looking at it. It'd be nice to have a let's just just trim off that end piece there. 
yeah, I think I can afford to clip off a bit of that. We get high school there. Maybe while I'm looking at it, is put. Pass through to there. Might give a nice strong connection for people to want, who want to come and live in this, work in that area. So I do want my. Oops, go back to this area, working on this area now. Oh, I think that will work. Let's take out this. I mean, it's, I'm expecting it to distort anyway, in the sense that... Yep, I think that will work. Let's reverse the flow. So I am aware, you can see the, see the slope inclination. So it's going to, it's going to be a little bit difficult working in this area. And I, d I don't want to have lay out too much up here. So what we're just gonna do is keep it a pretty simple grid to start with. Because this ore area won't last that long. So question is where can I put a, a train station I think I think I will if I take that out a little bit or should I go with this let's just come maybe if I come out this way go up I'll just connect across there I get I can go and pick up my Oh it's a cargo port, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. That's what I'm after. So if I can drop a train station in there. Cargo station in there. Get rid of these, I don't need them anymore. What I'm looking for is a, a very strong link link. From here. Just curve in. Not sure. It's gonna be a bit of a Oh, I can get, get a connection in there. So the idea is is that this will that very very close link compared to going round there will encourage the goods to be delivered by train rather than so we we'll just switch the power on there. Gotta watch the population, it seems to be dropping a bit. Now got a little bit of demand for industrial, so just gonna start it off. We've got no power, no water, so this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Actually, let's, no, let's just run the, probably just going to run the power out here for the moment. This, this would probably take a little bit of TLC to get up, up and running. So let's just to start with. Oh, I think I can live with that. It's gonna 
be a bit. It's going to be on a different orientation anyway, isn't it? I think I'm just going to have to live with that. So that gets it up and running as an area. Now, what I'm going to need is some form of public transport in here. Let's just have a quick check of the... See, I'm gonna, certainly going to have to start working on this area. Yep, I've got a problem there and a problem there. I think I'm going to have to start working on this area. So, I think before I start, well, what we can do is just, I think just to get things up and running is we'll put a, a bus route in, I think. Just to So uh, we'll we'll put probably put a metro in eventually, but it's not not enough. Actually, it's just come down this way. Don't particularly want to. So we'll just put that bus bus route in for the moment to p to let people develop this area. I'm just going to let it run. I think I'll speed the game up a bit. Let's see if we can see if there's any proper problems while it's dark. There's crime. Mm. Fire's good. Not so hot coverage there. We need to work on that. Happiness is good. Education. High school's filling in nicely. So public transport, you can see the network's developing quite nicely. So <coughs> happiness. So Oh, first looks like we've got the first beginning of a. <coughs> I need to. <coughs> Pardon me. I haven't actually. So we zone this in as all park. So starting to pick up a bit now. What I will do is over here is oops, just to get things up and running is, is I'll put a little bit of low density commercial in. Probably going to need a fire station. I suppose Sans Law says that I've happened to put it exactly where there's no water. Looks like power's dropping again. But we're on that threshold of as it gets to daylight, you get this drop in power. But I think what we will do is one of these. Should just have a look at the mm. 
1900 8,000 a week. Ouch. That's going to cost a lot for 640. Uh, now I think I'm just going to put one, drop one of those in for the moment. I so just going to wait for it to get daylight so we can start looking at this. It's going to be a bit of a traffic management problem here. You can see Now, this is a growing problem, but what one one of the important things when you manage traffic is there's still not enough mat raw materials. I think that's because of this traffic flow here slowing up the process. Now, <coughs> I've got definitely got a bit of a frog. Now, what you've got to do before you start fixing traffic problems what you've got to do is just watch the traffic flow now I can see one problem there straight away in the sense that this junction the vast majority of the traffic's crossing over the same with this one here this is an out junction and there's got a little bit of traffic going this way so, so I think what we're going to do to start with is going to destroy the footbridge. Probably some. Let's upgrade this road. Mm. Where's the direction? We'll probably upgrade this one. Is that going the right direction? Yeah, it looks like it. So that gives me two wide roads straight into the city. Or not city, industrial area, apologies. And what we're going to do is come, come up here. I think we're just going to up. Going to have to do I need two set I've got a set of power lines there. So do I, I don't really need that set there. Just, I've got the link there. So I've, I've now got this flow here. Now what I do need to do is there was a little bit of traffic coming out of here so I don't think I need to I think that's that one's going the wrong way isn't it going the wrong way. Why won't it let me... Oops. Nearly a bit of a, a fail there. So that's going that way. That traffic's flowing up there. Let's just test it. Yep, I think that's eased up the situation. So what we need to do now is just we need to have a <sighs> have a small link there before the, the little bit of traffic that was going up there and I think we need something traffic that comes down here I don't think this will no I think we're gonna have to go off this side 
which is not a, such a bad thing actually because if you put a flow up there and a flow off this side the miracles will get into the That will give me a a down ramp on that side. That, got, a, got a water problem over here. Just, just still got a bit of in industry, so how's this going up here? Got another water problem here, so we'll just fill that in. Well, Put a little bit more industry here. I can go right along the top here because so I want to push some of the industry out here for the moment. Now, what will happen is this area will get exhausted quite quickly. The resources. The all resources out here if I will disappear. I think you can actually see them disappearing off the map. So this these all resources will slowly get eroded and what will happen is that obviously that could be an issue. have to keep an eye on that. If that starts to pile back in here we might have to reshape this local line. I hadn't thought of that but so we've now got this area here flowing. Got a little bit of residential reappearing so what we're going to do is get, get in here. I think we're going to go high density. So let's just there's two reasons why I want to go high density is that I'm aware that space is a bit short here. Plus, the other thing also is that this, look at the policies, is I've actually made this high tech housing. But I'm not sure what high tech's high, high density housing will look like. Looks like very much the same as it, will it be any different from the other stuff? Is it? Anyway, so this seems to have eased off the problem a bit. Mm. But what we got now is traffic flow up here. So got quite a lot of wood flowing out here, going into there. Let's just have a quick look. <coughs> An owner animal farm returning to facility. So, tractor returning to facility. So it looks like we might have a little bit of a problem here with respect to the stuff coming in here probably trying to get to the, the station so let's so they're feeding into there this is bread and beyond so obviously we've got quite a lot of traffic flowing up here so, so where are you going? exporting forestry products yeah so so a lot of this is coming up this way so uh, how am I gonna do this I think what I'm going to do is if they're export coming in from here and exporting up to there I think what I probably need to do is Let's think about this. If I yeah, something that's a bit wiggly wobbly. Just going 
down. Maybe under here. Get that a connection there. And maybe place all already occupied. Won't this let me Alright then, we're just gonna have to This area is. Oh, this, that's the. S <sighs> that's the subway, not the. Take that out. can go down multiple level guys, I don't, don't know if you guys are actually aware of that, that you can actually see if that, <coughs> yeah, what you can do is, if you want to go, at subways are always, you can't change the depth of the subway, but you can go underneath the subway, so hopefully that will take the pressure off of this junction here because it is very very busy I'm certainly going to need to the other thing I haven't done here is I need to connect this footbridge in because I'm probably now affecting my residence in the sense that Stuck to off like Actually let's, let's take that out actually. And start again kind of come up. down that area there. the time and I think I'll, I will do that off camera because but you can see still got problems with growth but get building money up just check the still got a little bit of management problem there got a bit of a queue there with the buses this area seems to be just fluctuating up and down. Got a little bit of air, a built up area here. Gonna need to sort those footbridges out. Electricity is okay, elementary, high schools working well. Still losing population. Gonna have to find some way to at attract people to the city. Just probably just put in a bit more high density. Probably need to run a metro or something up that way. Yep, a bit short of workers so Metro so we've got a metro station there. I think prob what I'm going to do is No 
nice curve off. Let's drop a metro station in there. Let's put another one probably up. Got an underground. This is going to be a an extension of to keep away from that tunnel. Not sure why I built a tunnel there, but and we'll just run this up. And again, it's going to be a problem here. I'm gonna have a problem here guys, I'm, what I'm gonna have to do is curve out round like that for the moment just to do the connection. So obviously I'm going to have so if I can just do a straight connection slope too steep. Mm. I will tidy that up off camera, to be honest. It's a little bit of a mess. I'll just add a stop there, put another stop back there, put a stop there, come back to here. This comes back to the point I was saying in the sense that right, got two stops there. So <coughs> that's where I'm going to leave it. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. It probably wasn't that inspiring, but you can see the city's going to start to grow and develop. And over time, and I think for the moment, like and subscribe, and until the next time, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>